హలో ఎవ్రీ వన్ దిస్ ఇస్ డాక్టర్ పి శ్రీలత అసోసియేట్ ప్రొఫెసర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ మ్యాథమెటిక్స్ ఇన్స్టిట్యూట్ ఆఫ్ ఏరోనాటికల్ ఇంజనీరింగ్ హైదరాబాద్ ఇన్ దిస్ సెషన్ ఐ ఆమ్ గోయింగ్ టు డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆన్ నార్మల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ ఆల్రెడీ వీ హ్యావ్ డిస్కస్డ్ టూ మెథడ్స్ బై యూజింగ్ నార్మల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ సో నౌ వీ విల్ డిస్కస్ అబౌట్ ప్రాబ్లమ్స్ ఆన్ నార్మల్ డిస్ట్రిబ్యూషన్ పార్ట్ త్రీ సో ఫస్ట్ క్వశ్చన్ ఇఫ్ ఎక్స్ ఈస్ ఏ నార్మల్ వేరియేట్ దెన్ ఫైండ్ ద ఏరియా ఫస్ట్ వన్ టు ది లెఫ్ట్ ఆఫ్ టు ది లెఫ్ట్ ఆఫ్ ది జెడ్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ వన్ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ ఎయిట్ సెకండ్ వన్ టు ది రైట్ ఆఫ్ జెడ్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ వన్ పాయింట్ ఫోర్ ఫైవ్ థర్డ్ వన్ కరస్పాండింగ్ టు మైనస్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు జెడ్ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ త్రీ టు ది లెఫ్ట్ ఆఫ్ జెడ్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ టూ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ టు అండ్ టు ది రైట్ ఆఫ్ జెడ్ ఈక్వల్ టు వన్ పాయింట్ ఎయిట్ త్రీ ఫస్ట్ వన్ కన్సిడర్ సో టు ది లెఫ్ట్ ఆఫ్ సో హియర్ వీ ఆర్ ఫైండింగ్ ఫర్ ఫస్ట్ వన్ దట్ ఈస్ టు ది లెఫ్ట్ ఆఫ్ జెడ్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ వన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ సెవెన్ ఎయిట్ సో దట్ మీన్స్ వీ నీడ్ టు ఫైండ్ లెఫ్ట్ ఆఫ్ మీన్స్ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు సో పి ఆఫ్ జెడ్ పి ఆఫ్ జెడ్ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ వన్ పాయింట్ సెవెన్ ఎయిట్ ఓకే సో దట్ మీన్స్ పి ఆఫ్ జెడ్ లెస్ దెన్ ఆర్ ఈక్వల్ టు మైనస్ వన్ పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ ఎయిట్ మీన్స్ ఐ థింక్ ఆల్ ఆఫ్ యూ నో దాట్ వాట్ ఈస్ నార్మల్ కర్వ్ నార్మల్ కర్వ్ ఈస్ సిమెట్రిక్ అబౌట్ జెడ్ ఈక్వల్ టు జీరో అండ్ ఎక్స్ ఈక్వల్ టు మ్యూ అండ్ దిస్ టోటల్ ఏరియా ఈస్ వన్ అండ్ లెఫ్ట్ సైడ్ ఏరియా ఈస్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ అండ్ రైట్ సైడ్ ఏరియా ఈస్ జీరో పాయింట్ జీరో పాయింట్ ఫైవ్ If we have any negative value, we have to take in the left side of the curve. If we have any positive value, we have to take in the right side of the curve. But here we are having only negative value. So that's why we need to take in the left side. So that is Z1 equal to minus 1.78. So in the minus 1.78, we have less than or equal to symbol. So that means we need to take only left side area. If we have from the same question, if we have positive value, we have to take in the right side area. But here we are having P of Z less than or equal to minus 1.78. So we have to take in the left side value, left side of the curve. and we need to take the left side of the area because we have less than or equal to symbol is there but how to find only this area we know we know we know that the total area is 0.5 okay so from 0.5 we need to take only this area so that is 0.5 minus uh, 0.5 minus uh, minus 1.78 to this area 1 minus 1.78 to 0 so that is minus 1.78 to 0 area okay so 0.5 minus uh, minus 1.78 to 0 but in the normal curve we know that uh, uh, my, that is symmetric about z equal to 0 that means that is minus infinity to 0 can be written as 0 to infinity so that's why we have to convert a negative value to positive value that means uh, minus infinity to uh, sorry minus uh, 1.78 to 0 can be written as 0 to 1.78 okay so that is minus 7 7 point minus 1.78 to 0 can be written as 0 to 1.78 okay 0 0.5 minus 0 0.1.78 so we have to take this value from the normal distribution table so how to take that value see this is our normal table or normal distribution table so this is our normal normal curve okay so this is our normal distribution table in the normal distribution table so we have to take 1.78 uh, uh, right so one point so this is 1.7 in that we need to take 8 okay so in 1.7 uh, we need to take 8 that means that is 0 0.4625 if you take one in 1.7 8 so this is 8 okay so in that we need to take 0. Uh, so that is 0. 0.4625 okay so in 1.78 we need to take uh, uh, 0.4625 okay so in 1.7 we need to take 8 1.78 that is 0.4625 so 0.5 minus 0.4625 we will get 0.0375 uh, 
So second one is P of uh, Z greater than or equal to. So second question is to find the right of uh, Z equal to minus 1.45. Okay. So that is, uh, uh, that is nothing but uh, right of. Right of means greater than or equal to. Right of means greater than or equal to. Left of means uh, less than or equal to. So that is P of Z greater than or equal to, we need to take minus 1.45. So, this is our normal curve. So, here Z equal to 0 is there and this total area is 1 and this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.5. So, here we have, if we have any negative value, we have to take in the right side. If we have any negative po positive value, we have to take in the uh, right side of the curve. So, but here we are having only negative value. That's why we need to take in the left side. So, that's why that is Z1 equal to minus 1.45. Z1 equal to minus 1.45. So, here we have greater than or equal to symbol. So, from the point we need to take right side area. Okay. So, from the point we need to take right side area. That means here, here to here area plus here to here area. So, that means that is minus 1.45 to 0 plus this total area is we know that there is a 0.5. This total area is 0.5. So, minus 0.45 to 0 to 0 plus 0.5. Okay. So, 0.5 plus uh, minus 1.45 to 0. So, in the normal curve, it is symmetric, right? So, that's why minus 4 point, uh, uh, minus 1.45 to 0 can be written as 0 to 1.45. Okay, so we have to take this value from the normal distribution table like uh, before one. Okay, so that will be if you take uh, 1.45. So in 1.4, we if we take 5, then we will get 0 0.4 to 65. So 0 0.5 plus 0 0.4 to 65, then we will get uh, 0 0.9 to 65. Okay, so our next question is corresponding to minus 0 0.8 less than or equal to Z less than or equal to 1.53. So, that means that is the probability of minus 0 0.8 less than or equal to z less than or equal to 1.53. So, that means so this can be written as I will show you how we can take that one. So, if we have and this is a normal curve. Here we have negative value we have to take in the left, left side minus 0 0.8. Here we have positive value that we can take in the right side that is uh, 1.53. So, we need only in between area that means here to here area plus here to here area. That means minus 0 0.8 to 0 plus 0 to 1.53. So, um, we can write uh, nor in the normal curve it is symmetric, right? So, that's why that is uh, minus 0 0.8 to 0 can be written as 0 to 0 0.8. So, minus 0 0.8 to 0 can be written as 0 to 0 0.8, okay? So, we have to take in 0 point, in the normal distribution table, we have to take uh, in 0 0.8, we have to take 0, we will get this value that is uh, 0 0.2881. Okay, so like that uh, in uh, 0 point, uh, so this is 1.0 like that 1.5 is there. So in that 0, 1, 2, 3 is there. So in 0 point normal distribution table or normal table, we have to take 1.5. 1. In 1.5, we have to take 3. So this value is 0 0.4370. So if we add these values, we will get this one 0 0.7251. And the last question is, uh, to the left of less than or equal to, to the right of or greater than or equal to. Okay, so to the left of z equal to minus 0 point, uh, minus 2.52 and to the right of uh, z equal to 1.83. So that means P of z less than or equal to, left of means less than or equal to, right of means greater than or equal to. So P of z greater than or equal to minus uh, 2.52, P of z greater than or equal to, uh, 1.83. So, P of Z less than or equal to minus 2.52 plus P of Z greater than or equal to 1.83. So, I will show you how we can take. Okay. So, here we have one negative value that is uh, Z1 equal to minus 2.52 and one positive value is there. This is Z equal to 0. And uh, in the right side, we have to take positive value, okay? So, in the right side, we have greater than or equal to symbol is there, okay? So, for the positive value, we have greater than or equal to symbol. We need this area. 
and uh, for the negative value we have less than or equal to symbol is there so that's why we have we have to take left side area okay so we need this area and only this area so how to take this area so we have the total we have the total area is one okay so from the total area we need to remove only this area so that means here to here area here to here area then we will get this area and this area right so one minus uh, uh, minus uh, so we we can take one minus uh, to minus two point five two to zero plus uh, zero to this is one point eight three okay so that means we have to convert minus uh, zero two point five two to zero can be written as zero to two point five two so that's why one minus uh, zero to two point five two plus zero to 1.83 so 0 to 1 minus uh, probability of uh, 0 less than or equal to 0 less than or equal to 2.52 to uh, plus uh, uh, 0 to 1.83 so we have to take these two values okay 2 in 2.5 we have to take 2 then we will get that is 0 0.4941 from normal distribution table so like that in 1.8 we need to take 3 so that is 0 0.4664 so that is uh, from normal distribution table so if you simplify this one we will get that is 0 0.0395 so coming to the next problem in a normal distribution, 7% of items are under 35. Very, very important problem. In normal distribution, 7% of items are under 35 and 89% of items are under 63. Determine mean and variance of the distribution. So, mean is nothing but mu. Uh, variance is nothing but sigma. So, opposite to the previous problems. Okay. So, in the previous problems, uh, they have given that mu value, sigma value, but we need to find the area. So, here they have given the area, we need to find mu and sigma values. Okay. So, how they have given, we will see. Okay. In normal distribution, 7 percentage of items are under 35. So, that means that is uh, uh, P of uh, X less than 35. So, P of X less than under means less than. Okay. So, uh, that is uh, P of X less than 35 equal to 7, per 7 percentage. So, 7 percentage means 7 divided by 100. That is 0 0.07. So, P of X less than 35 equal to 7 percentage that is equal to 0 0.07. And the next one is also same, right? 89 percentage of items are under 63. So, that's why that is under means that is less than, okay? So, P of X less than 63 equal to 89 percentage. So, 89 percentage means 89 by 89 by 100. That means that is 0 0.89, okay? So, according to our formula, Z1 equal to X1 minus mu by sigma. Uh, so, according to our normal distribution formula, Z equal to X minus mu by sigma is there. So, but here we have uh, two values are there. So, X1, X2. So, this is X1 value and this is X2 value. So, that's why we need to find X, Z1 and Z2. So, Z1 equal to X1 minus mu by sigma and Z2 equal to X2 minus mu by sigma. So, we know that X1 is X1 is 35. We don't know mu value and sigma value. Variance is nothing but sigma square. Sorry. So, here we need to find uh, uh, mu value and sigma value. That's why we can write as it easily. 35 minus mu by sigma and Z2 equal to 63 minus mu by sigma. So, let us consider this is equation 1 and this is equation 2. Okay. So, now coming to the diagram. So, this is very, very important here. So, based on normal curve, curve only, we can find the problem. So, we know that what is normal curve? Normal curve is symmetric about x equal, sorry, z equal to 0 and x equal to mu. So, if we have any negative values, we have to take in the positive side, sorry, neg left side area. So, left side. So, that means this is in minus 1, this is minus 2 and so on. This is up to minus infinity you know, for the z values. Okay. So, for the z values, so z equal to 0 is in the middle and this is z equal to 1, 2, 3 and so on up to infinity. So, like that x equal to mu is nothing but here x equal to some 0 is there and x equal to some 50 is there and x equal to up to some 100 is there. Okay, so if we have, if we have z equal to up to uh, 50, we can take in the left side. Um, after 50, we can take in the right side. Okay, see. 
So x1 is 35. So let us assume that. So let us assume that this is x equal to mu. That means x equal to some 50. So let us assume that x1 equal to some. Let us consider this is x1 and this is x2. x1 value is 35 and x2 value is 63. So x1 is 35 and x2 value is some 63. Okay, so because after 50 we have to take in the right side, before 50 we have to take in the left side for x values only. For z, here we have z equal to 0. Uh, for the left side we have to take negative values, for the right side we have to take positive values. Okay, so remember this point, very very important point. And uh, here observe carefully, so uh, under, sorry. So, P, X, P of X less than 35 is 0 0.07. So, this area is, this only this area is 0 0.07. And this total area is, so 0 point X less than 63. So, here we have 63, we have less than symbol. So, that's why this total area is 0 0.89. So, this total area is 0 0.89. But we need only this area higher to here area and here to here area. Okay. So, how to find these uh, two areas? Okay. So, before that, so this total area is 0 0.7 and uh, we know that uh, this total area is 1 and this is 0 0.5 and this is 0 0.5, right? So, 0 0.5 minus 0 0.07. So, we will get that is 0 0.5. 43. So we know that this area is 0 0.43. Only here to here area is 0 0.43. So like that, uh, this total area is uh, uh, 0 0.89. So up to here area. So we know that this total area is 1, 1 minus uh, 0 0.89. So that this is 1 and this is also 1, 0 0.11. So we know that this this area is 0 0.11. So from 0 0.5. In 0 0.5, we, we, we need to take only this area. Okay, so from 0 0.5, 0 0.5 minus, I am taking only this area. That is 0 0.11. So, that is uh, uh, 9 and this is uh, 4, mi 4 minus 1 is 3, 0 0.39. So, this area is 0 0.39, right? So, we need only here to here area and here to here area. So, here to here area is 0 0.43 and here to here area is 0 0.39. Okay, got it? So, how we can take these values? So, we know that left side area is 0 0.5 and right side area is 0 0.5. And this total area is 1. This total area is 1. Okay. So, we know that uh, under x1, so P of x1, uh, x less than 35. That means x less than x1 is 0 0.07. That means this total area is 0 0.07. So, from that we need to find only this area, here to here area. So, that's why 0 0.5 minus this area, we will get 0 0.43. Like that this total area up to, uh, so this is P of X less than 63 equal to 0 0.89. Means this total area is 0 0.89. So, but we need only this area. So, 1 minus 0 0.89 so, 1 minus 0 0.89, we will get 0 0.11, okay. So, but we need only here to here area, here to here area. So, that's why 0 0.5 minus 0 0.11, then we will get 0 0.39. So, this is 0 0.39, this is 0 0.43. But we need, observe carefully, so here Z1 value is negative. So, for the left side, always Z1 values are negative and the right side Z, Z, Z values are positive. Left side, Z, Z, sorry, for the left side of the curve, uh, Z values are negative values. For the right side of the curve, we have to take uh, positive values. Okay. So, that's why this is Z1 is here. So, X2 equal to this is <coughs> 63. Okay. So, here Z1 is there and here Z2 is there. Okay. So, this is 0 0.43. So, how we can take Z, this is negative value. We know that this is negative value, right? Z1 is always negative value. So, that's why uh, here we are we are putting negative symbol. Okay. So, in for 0 0.43 and 0 0.39. So, this here we have 0 0.43. So, here we have 0 0.43 something, right? So, approximately that is 0 0.43 something is there. So, this is 8 and uh, corresponding left side value is 1.4. So, 1.48. So, 0 0.43 is 1.48. So, that is 
so 0 0.43 so 0 0.43 if you uh, if you take in the opposite direction in the normal distribution table so approximately 0 0.43 is there at uh, in 1.4 8. So, in 1.48, the 0.43 area is there. Okay. So, like that, uh, 0 0.39. So, 0 0.39 is here. So, C, 0 0.39 is here. So, that's why that is uh, 1 point. In 1.2, we have to take 3. So, in 1.2, we have to take 3. So, that is. So, 0 0.39. So, 0 0.39 means we have to take in the opposite direction in the normal distribution table. So, we have in 1.23 is 0 0.39 area. Okay. So, like that we, we can take. So, Z1 is uh, minus 1.48. So, that means here to here area is uh, this one that is 0 0.43. That's why we have to take this value from the normal distribution table. Then we will get that is Z1 equal to minus 1.48 in opposite direction. Opposite direction. So, here also same uh, 0, 0 0.39 is there, no? So, we have to take in the normal distribution table in the opposite direction. So, then we will get that is Z2 equal to 1.23. Okay. So, we have to substitute these two values in the formula. So, that is uh, 35 minus mu by sigma equal to minus 1.48, 63 minus, <coughs> so 63 minus mu by sigma equal to Z2, Z2 value is 1.23, so 1.23, so let us consider this is equation 1 and the equation 3 and this is equation 2, solve equation 3 and 4, solve equation 3 and 4, we will get mu equal to sigma equal to, but we need mean and variance, variance is sigma square, Okay, so sigma square equal to this one. So after simplification of equation 3 and 4, we will get mu equal to sigma equal to. So from that we will get sigma square equal to 10.33 whole square. Okay, so that is this one. So mean of the norm, mean of the normal distribution is 50.29 and variance of the normal distribution is 106.7089. Thank you. Like, share and subscribe. Hit the bell icon for more updates.